and speaking <laughs> of supply issues, this guy named Yuri, Yuri uh, Berliner of NPR News reported recently that there was an acute shortage of entry-level small homes. And according to Freddie Mac, uh, they consider the starter home as 1,400 square feet or less. Mm -hmm. Okay. And in 1992, that was 40%. 82 what did I say? 92. That's okay. Just it's 10 right. year difference. In, in 1982, <laughs> yeah. it was 40% of the newly constructed houses. Well, and why was that? What was the interest rate in 1982? Well, yeah. I'm, I'm getting <laughs> exactly. to that. And that's the first thing I started screaming at. Too. Yeah. Uh, and anyway, by 2019, that share had fallen to 7%. So if they're just using square footage as starter homes and not price point. Because people are downsizing point. anyway. So that really is, yeah, well, data and, and, and we get back to that. Um, your people were building 1400 square foot homes in 1982 because the average interest rate in 1982 was 16.4%. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm sorry, 16.04%. Yeah. 1981, and it, it was a little higher than that. It was 16.68%. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> people couldn't afford to buy a house because they couldn't get the financing. And in 1982, uh, your conventional mortgage loan was a bank loan and you had to put 20% down. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the and only way you like... could get less than that was uh, do an FHA loan. Okay. Uh, now. Are starter homes the same as affordable housing? That's a good question. Can be. Well, it depends. Yeah. Um, and that's what it's supposed to be. A starter home is supposed to be affordable because it's your first start. Well, I mean, in 1982, it was the only thing you could afford. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> well, yeah, no one could afford to buy a 2,500 square foot house in 1982, newly constructed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I yeah. mean, you. here's what happened in 1982 that a lot of people don't realize is that rates were really high and it was a great time for seller financing. If you didn't have to pay off your home uh, or you didn't need the money to buy a new home and you were selling a home, um, if you had an 8% rate and the going rate was 16, what do you do? You sell or finance. Yeah. It. Plus mortgages were assumable back then as mm -hmm. well. <clears throat> a lot of them were, well, the FHA ones were not the conventional. Mm -hmm. Um, I, again, they didn't have the Fannie Freddie, uh, securitizations and all that stuff back then either. It was either the bank held it or you had an FHA or VA. Well, didn't, right. I thought securitization started in 73. Well, Okay, it wasn't very widely spread. Oh, okay. <laughs> Most banks held on to their own <laughs> Um You so, guys are really smart. <laughs> so, <laughs> so there has been, been at the library. <laughs> recently a lot more uh, homes that have been on the market now that are smaller, 750 to 1,700 square footish. footish. <laughs> so the, the amount of new smaller homes or existing smaller homes has increased uh, month over month. And then the homes that ha are 3,000 to 6,000 square feet have decreased yeah. from 23.9% to 19.3%.